What is up, guys? It's your boy, Sick Man and Bro, here looking like my daddy's house and Bro recording. Yo, we're here for another Akato uh, video. I told y'all, I told y'all in my last video that I was gonna come hard with the Series 3 stuff. Here we are. We're here for another unboxing. We got four um, packages here that we're gonna unbox. Now, if this is your first time watching the channel on my Series 3 Akato uh, content, then you might wanna go check out my last video. Uh, link is in the description down below. Uh, to that video, we unboxed a ton of stuff. That was basically my introduction into Series 3. You can see some, uh, uh, one of the items that we got over there as well. Um, and also, maybe you haven't watched my channel in a while, so you're probably in interested about the camera angle going on here. I am holding my phone, obviously, uh, for this one. Um, because, you know, uh, my audio problems, they were consisting. And like that, and I found that holding my camera is actually it actually eliminates it. Um, maybe a little bit more wonky, but hey, at least I can you know zoom in and everything like that. You know, while I'm holding the thing, so that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, um, we're gonna just get into these packs, and we're gonna you know open some characters, talk about them a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, I will go ahead and mention that y'all won't see the actual unboxing part. Y'all basically what I do is. You know, I pick a pack and I open it off camera. We review the contents. Simple enough. So, um, yeah. But uh, let's not waste any further time and let's get into it. Okay, so let's just kind of talk about what we got here, essentially. First off, we have two versus packs. We have the Shadow Fire Nightblade and Overboard um, versus pack, and then we also have the Bright Knight Pride Heart and Dark Spike versus pack as well um i just noticed like earlier today when i uh got these packages that dark spike is a rhino so interestingly enough um yeah so there's that we have the uh kick attack starter pack for series three of course you know there's a, a kick attack and a punch attack starter pack for every series um of course we already have the punch attack one again go watch the my previous video if you want to see that and then we have the mega strike controller so yeah, that pretty much wraps up all that we got here. Um, let's go ahead and open. Let's get these. Let's get these versus packs out of the way, shall we? Right. I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record here, but uh, I feel like I mentioned this in every one of my Arcado videos. I love the packaging for Arcado. I, I love the Series Three packaging as well. But the packaging comes with a cost of being very hard to get into. And um, yeah. Let's just say I'm not really a, a huge fan of that. Um, but nonetheless, we got them open. We got all four of our characters here. We got Dark Spike, Bright Knight Pride Heart, uh, Overboard, and Shadowfire Nightblade. I have the Series 1 Nightblade over here. Right there. For a comparison. And I also have the Series 1 Pride Heart. Somewhere, <laughs> if I can actually find him real quick. Hold on, there he is. So yeah, we've come a long way. We've come a long way from these characters' original designs and everything like that. I love that these characters are getting reposes. That is, that is really, that is really awesome. Uh, one thing I do want to say is related to Overboard, though. Oh man, we might have a, a a really good warrior here. Look at this. This thing is huge, and he's a classic warrior. What value is he? He's a four, no way. I, I'm sorry, Overboard might be a force. He might be a force. I'm trying to look at everyone's stats here, because stats are important in Series 3. So Shadowfire Nightblade appears to be a four. Five health, three damage. What's What are we saying on Overboard here? Five health, four damage. Okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. I still can't believe he's a four. That's, that is, that's wicked, dude. We got Bright Knight Pride Heart here, who's a five. The original Pride Heart was a five, I believe. Um, seven health, four damage. I feel that. Oh, I will mention that I do like what Moose Wars is doing. They're finally changing the shields. Originally, all of the shields for the characters, I have Flaswat here. They used to all be like this D-pad formation, which is cool, but I like how we're finally getting a little bit more unique with the shields. There's another character in Series 3 that has a, a shield as well, and I believe it's also different um, from that. Also, 
uh, got the wrong one there. There's some textures on Bright Knight Pride Heart, specifically like on his hands, that um, let's just say kind of remind me of certain things. Um, not gonna go all into that. Moving on, we have Dark Spike here, which like I said, apparently he's a rhino, which is really cool. He has like a like a like a like a sickle as a weapon here. Love his design actually. Feels way better out of the package. Uh, he's another value of five. Um, we have six health, four damage. So that's cool right there. Of course, dark, um, what's the name? Dark Fire, what, wait, no. Dark Spike and Shadow Fire Nightblade. There we go. Um, both of these characters are part of the Shadows element. Um, of course, we got Bright Knight and Pride Heart on the Light element and Overboard on the Water element. Uh, so yeah, that wraps up the Versus Packs. Let's get into the Starter Pack. All right, so we have our uh, starter pack here. All the contents lined up. We have our controller. I will go ahead and uh, comment on that in a second here. We have the training piece, which in our last uh, pack, it's Medusa. It was the Medusa statue. I'm not going to show that in this video. I want you to go watch the previous video to see that. But this training piece is pretty interesting. Um, so I, you're supposed to actually hit the barrel and it'll like pop off like that. Um, which is cool. It's kind of like an explosion because uh, normally in the games that I see these type of exploding barrels in, you're not actually supposed to hit them, but apparently here uh, you're supposed to hit them. But yeah, let's get into our characters here. We have, uh, first of all, Johnny Cage. <laughs> okay, it's Agent Moldy, but um, yeah, uh, I, I, I think we can clearly tell that this character was inspired by Johnny Cage, uh, more than likely. Uh, there, there is a little bit of gaming references in Arcado that a lot of not a lot of people notice. Like ha Hayashi was basically referencing Heihachi from Tekken. Uh, Shreddy is clearly FNAF inspired. Um, you know, a couple of, of couple of like hint hint wink wink nudge nudge type things in Arcado like that. Uh, but yeah, we have Agent Moldy, Shadows Element, another Shadows Element character. We have Squid Lips, <laughs> a Water Element character. Yeah, I was, uh, I still don't know about this design with the Forearm Fury. He's the Forearm Fury fighting style, uh, which it works perfectly for the Giants, like Bucktooth here, but I don't know how that's going to work for a regular sized warrior, so we're going to have to see about that. And then we have Flamefoot White Wraith, or is it Firefoot White Wraith? I can't actually remember her name right off the bat. I'll put it on the screen here. But, um, yeah, I am very much glad we have a new White Wraith, uh, because for those of y'all who didn't know, White Wraith, the Series 1 version, was the worst warrior in the entire series. The worst, you, you would not see anyone use this figure, because it's so incredibly bad. Finally, things are changing for White Wraith, and I love that. And I'm glad that they went with unmasked White Wraith. I mean, kind of unmasked. She is still wearing, like, the mask over her mouth there. But, um, she has taken off her, you know, like, hood and everything like that. Also, the art. The art. For, I love that art, man. I love that art. That is so cool. I love the art on the sides of the packaging. Uh, like, like it's literally like a real, like, you know, arcade machine and everything like that. You know, how they have, like, characters on the sides and everything. That's so cool, dude. Um, but yeah. White Wraith, obviously, fire element this time around. And, uh, she has the sword. Well, not a sword. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, maybe a torch? Something like that? In her hand? Um, yeah. So she's not the first kick attack warrior that has a weapon in her hand. Plunderfoot did it first. And he will be doing it again later on in the series. Uh, so it looks like this White Wraith is going to be a 5 on value. Statistics uh, look to be a 6. It's kind of hard to read here. 6 and 3. 6 health, 3 damage. Cool. Squid Lips uh, looks to be 8 health and 4 damage. Please, please tell me his value is not... Uh, his value is a 6. Okay, thank goodness. Okay, because I was going to say, if this dude's a 5, he's going to be a little broken. Uh, Agent Moldy, um, probably a 4, right? Uh, yep, he's a 4. So this is a val valid team, actually. 5, 4, yeah. 
So this is a valid team. Uh, that's one thing that the Series 2 starter packs didn't have. They didn't have a single valid team in the starter packs. But this is a valid one. I don't remember off the top of my head if the Punch Attack starter pack for Series 3 was valid. But um, yeah, let's move on to the Mega Strike controller. Oh yeah, I said I was going to comment on the controller here. I really wish they would have chose a color that was not red. And the only reason I'm saying that is because it looks too much like the original Pro Controllers. It's a different shade of red. But I really wish they would have chose a different color. Because this is what came in the Punch Attack starter pack. This green. I mean, so this looks so different and so good. And I love it. And then you have this, which basically looks like the original. So, yeah. But just a minor pet peeve. Doesn't hurt the product at all. Um, but yeah, moving on. All right, so we have the Mega Strike controller free from the box. Right off the bat, there's a couple things I don't like about this thing. Um, and it's shown off in the instructions here. As you can see in the diagram here, uh, where is it? Like kind of right there is literally depicting you fighting against someone with a regular controller. All right? Uh, yeah, this versus this is not a fair fight. <laughs> so, that's, that's, that's my first gripe about this. And my second gripe is the fact that, bro, where is it? Yeah, we have six elements, guys. Only four are represented with the Mega Strike controller. Kind of interesting. Considering the fact that our two new elements are light and shadows. Uh, you know, kind of weird that those are the two new elements and they're not getting, and they don't have nearly as much representation in the series. I wonder where I've seen that before. Anyway, um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, aside from that, the really cool controller. I love the design. Um, essentially how it works is, you know, you keep hitting this, and if you see this, like, meter down there, it's actually changing. I can't use the Mega Strike function until that thing is fully charged, uh, which it is now. There's a, a fist on there. You can see that. And that means I can't use it. So, yeah. Uh, but like I said, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And I hate that if you wanted to theoretically have a fair fight with this, you would need two. Meaning you're getting a duplicate of Fire Strike Chucks, I believe is what his name is. Uh, yep, that is his name. Actually, we can see that I was right. Fire Foot, right, right, right there. But yeah, Fire Strike Chucks, um, everything like that. So depending on the warrior that you have in there, I'm not sure entirely how you take this out. Is it just a slide out thing, or I'm assuming you just slide it out. And actually, I think that is what it is. Let me go ahead and try to take this off. So I was right, it is just like a sliding out function. They just, you know, slide off of there and then you can, you know, put them back on uh, any way you want to. Um, hmm, you know, these these little attachments here. I'm not gonna lie, they, uh, they kind of remind me of something. But anyway, um, yeah. Okay, I was just checking and my theory was correct. Uh, giants do work with this attachment, although, Try not to do your strike at the same time because yeah, he's going to hit that. But um, yeah, so Giants work with it. Fair enough. But that's going to conclude this video. Um, so yeah, I mean, let me know if you guys are enjoying this Arcado content. I'm pretty sure you guys are because we got like 3,000 views on the last video. A ton of comments, a ton of likes. Uh, and that doesn't happen every day on this channel if you've been around uh, for a while. Um, so let me know if you're excited for more Arcado content. I'm really trying to be on top of this Series 3 stuff. The Power Storm Arena I've ordered and it's coming and everything like that. I have a lot more Arcado videos planned and everything. So uh, yeah, just let me know in the comments, you know, uh, how are you getting with, you know, your Series 3 collection? Are you getting all the stuff that you're wanting? Or everything like that. Or I know some of you, a lot of the things are not even available in some of you guys' countries or locations. So. Um, I, w I wish you guys the best of luck and find like that. I, I really hope something works out for y'all um, because this community is amazing. Also, speaking of that, please be sure to check out the Aikido Discord. The link to that is in the description uh, as well. Uh, it's a Discord where I'm active in 
and uh, people there are pretty nice. They're really nice, and um, they we just you know kind of chill. We talk about arcade. We talk about other things from time to time, but it's mainly arcade. And there you will get to see a little bit of my um, ideas for new videos as well before I even release them. So if you want to stay on top of things, that's how you can do it. But um, yeah. Uh, with all that being said, peace out and reach for the stars.